Hello once again, good evening. Welcome to our Nelly's favorite CLC fan channel. We are going to learn chords relative to E major and F major. Okay, I'm going to teach you the E major, the E minor, the E7, and then the E minor 7, okay, together with F, okay, and the combinations of F, the F7, the F minor, and the F minor 7, okay. Okay, so let's begin uh, with a chord letter E. Okay, the chord letter E is done by pressing string number 5 with our finger number 2 on the 2nd fret. And then string number 4 by pressing it with our 3rd finger on fret number 2. And then uh, string number 3 with finger number one on fret number one. So this is how E will look like. That's it. Okay, the, the smallest finger is not touching anything. So this is E. Okay, to do this slowly, we do it by pressing our middle finger on the fifth string on the second fret, and then we press the ring finger on the second fret, touching the fourth string and then we press the third string using the first finger okay on the first fret so this is E that's it that is E and then uh, the E minor is done by removing our uh, first finger finger number one from pressing string number three so uh, E minor is touching only uh, string number five and string number four by finger number fingers number two and finger number three consecutively. So that's it. Or corresponding E. That's it. So let's go back to E. Okay, E is done like this. So if you have your guitar with you, and then if your guitar is tuned with a standard key, so this is how it will sound like. That's it. And then E minor sounds like this. E7 is done by first pressing E, and then we remove now the ring finger or the third finger, so that is our E7, okay? So E7 is done uh, by pressing uh, string number 5 with finger number 2 and then pressing string number 3 okay with finger number 1 in fret number 1 so ganyan po ang E7 ang E minor 7 is done uh, by pressing only a string number 5 by finger number 2 so ganyan po ang E minor 7 Okay, okay, let's repeat, okay? Ganito po ang sound ng E. And then, E minor by removing our pointing finger or finger number one, that is E minor. E minor seven is by pressing string number five by only the middle finger or finger number two, that is E minor seven. Now, let's go to F. Okay, the key of F or the F chord is done actually, it's very similar to E except that you only have to uh, move your chords one fret to the right, okay? F is done by pressing uh, all the strings in fret number one by our first finger, finger number one, and then we press the fifth a string by finger number three the fourth string by finger number four and then the third string or string number three by finger number two so yan po ang tunog ng F okay F minor is done by removing okay from the F position we can uh, do F minor by removing the middle finger or finger number two okay so that will become F minor 
Okay, F minor 7 is done uh, from the F minor position by removing the the ring finger the, by the removing the smallest finger. So this is now our F minor 7. Okay, so now let us go back to F position. Okay, this is F. Okay. F7 is done is very similar to E7 except that we are pressing okay all the strings in fret number one. Okay, so F7 is done is similar to E7 just like this. So F7 is done by removing uh, the ring finger or the no the smallest finger from pressing uh, string number four. So that's it. This is F7. Okay, but you can see that also from the diagram or from the drawing on your screen. So, that's all for tonight. Thank you very much. Okay, God bless you. Please practice, okay, the key, the key in learning or mastering the, the playing of the guitar is by practicing first the placement of the chord and the, by the playing of the chords. Okay, you, please do that always. Make that a habit to practice, okay? Okay, you place the chords, okay, uh, by placing, you play the chord by placing the right uh, fingers on the right strings on the right uh, fret and then strum slowly, okay, until it sounds uh, good, okay, and then practice transferring uh, from chord to chord because a mastery uh, of transferring the chords from uh, another chord, okay, from transferring our fingers from chord to chord will aid us in accompanying the songs uh, effectively. So thank you very much. If you have learned something and if you, you profited uh, from learning from our channel, from our videos, please do not forget to press like and then try also to make your comment. And then you can also make suggestions on how you can learn better so that if we can do it, we will do it, okay, here in our channel. So once again, this is Pastor Mar Navarosa. Thank you very much for watching uh, in our Nelly's favorite CLC fan channel.